Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at bulk ordering. There are a lot of different ways to set up bulk ordering within our e-commerce platform and just in general within any e-commerce platform. We're going to take a look at a few examples today and we want to encourage you to just keep in mind that basically bulk ordering can be done in many different formats and most likely, depending on your specific scenario, this is going to be something that we've done before in the past and would encourage you to have conversations with vendors like Clarity uh, so that you can just understand what the potential options are that you might want to consider. Okay, with that, let's dig into the video and take a look at some of these examples. Okay, so in this particular example, you can see we have a really nice kind of entry screen into this bulk order capability. And this allows the user to choose if they want to manually enter into a grid or if they want to upload a document where they can bulk order from. Now, if they choose to upload from a document, they get this upload screen where they can then complete the upload process. And then once the upload is completed, they're going to see a grid view ordering form. Now, this particular order form is really interesting because not only is it showing them the ability to order their items and kind of a list of what their items are and the ability to kind of change their order amount, their quote amount, etc., but it's also going and looking at the catalog and looking at the inventory data and showing the user the different options for fulfillment locations. So they can choose from the US, UK, or refurbished. And then you can see that we're showing discount options where they may have to call to get that information. Uh, and whenever there isn't an option to be able to order right away, uh, we dynamically adjust the order uh, field so that it's displaying or not based on whether or not it's an option. Uh, and then finally, as the user is going through, they get a dynamic subtotal of the items. So we're totaling up the cost. And then you can see on this item, we're showing that there is a quote inventory count or a quote uh, item here that they're going to want to process. Uh, so we're adding the quote plus quote to this list. And then we're just showing quote here in the subtotal. So you can do some really interesting things with the bulk order form so that the user has, again, as much self-service as possible. If you have multiple locations or multiple fulfillment centers, uh, possibly different lead times and costs, uh, we can present this dynamically to the user after they upload their content. In addition, we can also present the user with a nice template that they can use to follow to complete a bulk upload. Now, this isn't the only way of completing a bulk upload. Um, it's also possible for us to use other means of allowing them to kind of complete a bulk order. A very common methodology for this is to use a punch out catalog and leverage the punch out catalog capabilities within our e-commerce platform. So this is another way these two things can be combined. Um, it's possible for us to access flat files on their system. I mean, there really are a lot of different options that we can take advantage of for bulk ordering. Okay, now let's take a look at another example that's a little bit simpler, uh, but you can see here in this example, the user can quickly add items to their order. Uh, they can do a search. And in this particular case, the user is going to be able to add items that are related to their account or available within their account. Now this can be really helpful for users that are possibly ordering items as a maintenance fulfillment. Uh, maybe they already have ordered these items in the past and they're reordering. So we can show them items to reorder. Uh, they may have a particular uh, machine or part of machinery uh, that they need to order maintenance parts for or replacement parts for. So we can allow them to kind of go to just that machine or device and then order those replacement parts related to that particular device. Um, you can also allow them to just come in and easily add items at will and then uh, just type in the quantity and the SKU information and then dynamically populate and verify that those are in stock, uh, that those are actually available and show the product description as they're adding it in. Um, so here you can see as an example, the user has typed something in that's just not a SKU that's recognized, and we're giving them a pretty simple error message just so they can go correct that particular line item. Uh, this just makes it really nice for folks who know exactly what they want, and they may need to kind of get some kind of verification that they're not doing something wrong. So this is a nice way to present that overall. And then here you can see once they've kind of gotten all these items ordered uh, or added to their quick order form, uh, they can then add them all to their cart. 
Now, another thing that we like to point out uh, with this process is we also enable a wish list, a shopping list, and other options like that uh, so that the users can bulk order using these techniques too. So for example, for a lot of franchises, they may have a standard set of items that they want ordered. Uh, this could be a shopping list. So the shopping list would literally be a permanent kind of uh, fixture within the dashboard for the user. And every single time there's a new franchise or a new location, for example, or possibly it's a monthly maintenance um, or quarterly maintenance schedule, uh, they can then add all the items from the shopping list to their cart. This can also be done in a subscription manner. So we can set this up as a subscription or recurring purchase as well. The list truly is endless of the options that are available. And we want to encourage you to evaluate some of these different scenarios. So with that in mind, we've set up a complimentary discovery process where as you're evaluating some of the different options for e-commerce vendors and some of the capabilities in this case around group ordering, bulk ordering, uh, capabilities to do things that are maybe complex around uh, punch out catalog, for example, uh, wish list, shopping list, etc. cetera. Uh, we really are experts in these areas and we want to help you out whether or not you end up working with us we offer a complimentary discovery process that can help you get some of this documented. We actually bring in a business analyst team member to help document what your needs are and help present options and solutions. And whether or not we can provide a great fit, we absolutely want to help you with your process. We thank you very much for watching this video and we will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks again and bye for now.